Hey everybody, today we're gonna show y'all a little bit about a day on the farm. Woo! So stay tuned. A day in the life of the farm. This is what it starts out with. Washing buckets. task of the day after getting all those buckets washed is getting all the dahlias cut out. Got some flowers cut out of this garden. Now it's my time to move to the next one. Another thing we're working on today is getting the last of our lavender dried out so we can remove the buds and use it for sachets and soaps and all sorts of amazing things. So it's actually doing pretty good. It, I had the fan on it all last night and it has dried out pretty darn good like a bale of hay. And We'll get busy debutting it a little bit later after we get the dahlias harvested out and get it ready for product. Filling up buckets for flower load number two now. Hopefully we can get this done pretty quick because I'd really like to get that tilling done so I can get a cover crop down. Um, I'm gonna put radishes down, really quick cover crop. See if we can get it sprout before frost. So we got 
all of our dahlias cut out just a little bit in this upper garden here. We cut it pretty heavy the other day. So the ladies are moving on to cutting other flowers and I am going to, I'm gonna fertilize these dahlias. Get that going with our fertilizer injector. This is our nice fertilizer setup. So we inject fertilizer in through the irrigation system to just overhead water with our little whirly bird sprinklers we have. And I'm actually just using some nice and smelly fish emulsion to fertilize with. We got our little whirly bird irrigation going and it's fertilizing with some lovely stinky fish emulsion. But the dahlias are gonna love it. Last beautiful load of flowers cut for the day. And now it's time to head up to the house. We got quite a bit of our lavender sifted, but it was still had a lot of moisture content in it. So we're gonna probably leave it for another day or so to continue drying. We did get quite a bit out, but started to get unproductive because it just wasn't quite dry enough. So we're gonna move on to other things. What are you working on, hon? I'm working on a wedding. I have a wedding on Saturday. Uh, so I'm going ahead and doing these two large uh, centerpieces that are going to go on a, a couple of hay bales. And uh, hopefully I get these done today just to get some stuff out of the way and then I'll finish the rest of my things tomorrow. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Here's the reality of our messy shop. Here's our flowers. What are you working on, Carla? I'm working on a Dahlia bouquet for CSA. Making our CSA customers their Dahlia bouquets. After we get done with our Dahlia CSA bouquets, now uh, we'll get busy working on our jar orders for this weekend. <laughs> Come on, Carla. Great. <laughs> Finally freed up enough to hop on the tractor here and get some much needed tilling and cover cropping done. So totally excited to get this done. This is stuff I, I don't know, I just love getting cover crops planted. It's just so cool to see. I use radishes, it's my favorite one. It's like super quick to sprout. Uh, you know, it grows in like 21 days. Love it. And it, those, the roots or the radish, like, I don't know, the word's escaping me now. The radish thingy, like, digs into the ground. And when it dies, it rots and kind of creates an opening in the ground for, like, organic matter and stuff to fall in. It just adds a lot to the soil. And it's really good for breaking up our like hard dense soil that we have here. I usually bring a bucket out with me because the entire bag is heavy as hell, but I forgot, so I just dealt with it. Done. So these are some radishes that I did a few weeks ago, and just that beautiful chartreuse green. I just love the look of it. It's just 
A lot better than weeds, definitely. So I got our garden up here cover cropped or seeded with radishes, tilled and seeded. And I got these two rows that there were supposed to be sunflowers, but we just couldn't keep the deer off of them. Um, we just have been more working towards finding ways to live with the deer as opposed to like putting fences everywhere. So I'm, I'll come up with a solution eventually, but whatever. We got a few crops of sunflowers this year. Um, I'll just deal with what we got. And behind me here, past the lavender, got this field tilled up for the most part and got some radishes down on that. So pretty close to being done for cover cropping for the year. And I'm back here with our one of our wild out, wildflower installations. We've just been doing bigger installations on the farm and just loving having big swaths of flowers for not cutting, just, just for beauty. And the pollinators, they love it like crazy. And on the other side, if you can see the blue in these bachelor's buttons, this was a first year attempt with these and they've done pretty well. And they've gotten a second flush after this rain we had. There's quite a bit of grass in there, but bachelor's buttons reseed really well and really heavy. So I expect next year when I mow this in after everything dies down and goes to seed, that next year it'll just flush out and just be nothing but bachelor's buttons. But I'm also going to come in and overseed with more bachelor's button seed just because I don't want to see any grass. And I'm just going to seed it heavily, heavily and let it choke that grass right out. But it was really, really beautiful to, to look at this year, that blue and the pink behind it. Gorgeous. It's time to move on to other things. I think it's actually time for Jen and I to do our delivery to our friends at the local winery. Um, it is a great excuse to take a break from everything we have going on here and get a glass of wine. Jen likes to get a glass of wine. I like to get a winerito, which is like a wine slushy. I'm not that much of a drinker at all. So a little light spritzer, easy slushy is really good for me and I enjoy it. Uh, so I think that's where we're headed next. You ready to go to the winery yet? Winery bouquet is right here. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Very fall-esque. I have a type of a, a tassel from the corn. Okay. Does it look like fall when I'm in bouquet? Totally does. Almost done though. Chris All right. and then uh, two little ones are ready. Okay. Yep. We'll be in jars. Carla's got in the jars. Let's see what Carla's got for jars over here. What's that? Oh, going. Start. Start. Not quite there yet. Slow as molasses, I boy, know. oh boy. So Off to deliver flowers to the winery and have a little wind down. Thursday wind down. Thursday wind down. <laughs> This is our typical afternoon on a day like this, getting a delivery and just taking a break and having a having a quick drink before we head back to the farm and yeah. get busy on the next thing. We try not to talk business, but we usually end up talking business. This is supposed to be like a, a mini date night, but never ends up shaking out that way. We work hard to not talk about business here. But <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens. Sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to enjoy our drinks. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. I need to open mine up. <laughs> <laughs>
leaving the winery, heading home. We're off to what? Cook dinner for the kids, spend some time with the kids, and I have some wedding stuff to do. What do you have to do? Cook. Adam cooks in our house, so he's gonna cook things. Finishing the night off with my childhood favorite salmon patties. Nice way to end the day. <laughs>